Hello everyone, Donna Don here with the next update on the War Corsair project. Today's subject, uh, moving the airplane to the airport. As you can see, I got the plane all on the trailer, and I am physically at the airport, uh, waiting for the guy with the hangar to get here to open the gate for me. And we're going to go ahead and tuck this thing away today. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, put it together today. I don't want to hold the guy up. Uh, normally the flight school is working, but their instructor had to take today off, so, so then I didn't do any training. It was pretty crazy out here today anyway. But at least I want to show you how I got this thing out here to the airport. I didn't think I was going to be able to get the wings on here, but I had, uh, had plenty of room as you can see to get in there. Now if I had to do this multiple times, I would eventually make some kind of bracket on the frame that would literally attach right to the frame of the trailer to where I would actually probably suspend these things. But I got them setting on some moving blankets and then I got the rope tied to the back to hold it forward from sliding backwards and the strap going across those big pieces of foam rubber. And the same over here. Uh, it's all just kind of tight on there just to keep the wings from sliding back. Uh, those wings are oh, probably about six foot six inches long. But that's how it looks. Just kind of dusted it off. It's going to need a nice bath. Okay, as far as the um, inspection goes, it looks like the I can get the inspector here on the 26th, which is Monday. So it'll be a week from Monday. This is uh, Saturday afternoon. The, what, 17th? So, uh, there's the ramps. Uh, hog tied. And I'd make some method of either putting them up underneath the trailer or something, put a ramp in there, slide, and slide them in and pin them get them off the top of the trailer. So, I just wanted to let you guys see what was involved in it. I spent, oh, probably three hours getting this thing loaded up and tied down. I had to run out this morning and get some bolts to bolt this uh, wood on here because, as you can see, the landing gear just slides right inside there. Um, I'm going to have to redesign my whole pulleys here. I'm going to have to cut these bolts off and move it so it's here so it's more in line with the axle but I can tell you that winch was perfect folks that double rope system was perfect I put the whole thing up here by myself all the way up till about where the belly is oh, right under here it was coming real close to hitting the trailer and I had to stop get the wife to come out finish hand cranking it while I picked the tail up and got it all the way under the trailer I may have to add just a small bump out on there to make that tail wheel fit better and make a, a attachment to where I can physically anchor that tail wheel right to the trailer instead of trying to tie it, hook, tie it down. It's, it's clamped through there and then the extra tail is just over here to tie the ramps so they help hold them together but it was a rush job. This foam is hopefully protecting the wings so all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop this here after I get it in the hangar I'll uh, finish up the video. Like I said I probably won't get to putting the wings on I just don't want to hold the uh, the guy up. He's had to stop mowing just to come out here and open up for me to get this thing put away. So I'll either be back tomorrow or Monday when they're definitely here working. But uh, there's no hurry now. I got a whole week before the inspector gets out here. But at least I wanted to get it uh, get it here and let you guys see what it looks like. Maybe I'll be able to walk out to the runway and give you a shot of that before I sign off for this video. And I'll try and get this video up tonight when I get back home. So all right, hang in there. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, not quite the same day. Saturday when I came out here, uh, the flight school and everything was closed up. Uh, they didn't have an instructor available for the weekend, so they didn't have to work at all. So, But the owner came out and uh, helped me get the airplane off the trailer and into the hangar. So that was Saturday. Today is now Monday afternoon. Uh, looks like it's about 4.30. Uh, I've been out here since maybe 12.30 getting these wings on. So as you can see, it's all together. I only have one thing left, two things left to do. Uh, I need to go and check the travel of the ailerons. I need to put a protractor on it and check the up and down deflections and then adjust the stops inside on the stick and then that's done. Uh, the flaps are all rigged, the ailerons are rigged. I just need to check the full travel. The only thing left I got to do is install these covers. And that's literally just putting them on there, line them up, marking them. But where those two hinges are back there, I need to slot it. So I have to cut them and then get them to fit around those two hinges and then screw it in. And it's done. Uh, but it's getting late and I'm getting tired and I want to get this video done. So I can have you guys have something for you guys to watch tonight when I get home. So 
but that's what it looks like. Uh, again, this is the uh, North Coast Flight School hangar. As you can see it's a pretty big hangar. Uh, they have two planes they usually keep uh, in there. One of them is right there. Again, this is Port Meadville and Meadville, PA. Uh, that's the, I guess, the maintenance hangar across the way. So we got all cement out here, and of course the hangar's all cemented. So uh, if anyone's familiar with Dad's Dog Food, that place is located right here in Meadville, Pennsylvania. And this was their hangar. They had a private corporate jet, and I think they just sold the jet recently. So this hangar became available, and the flight school moved into here. So that's it, folks. Looks pretty sweet, don't it? All right, let me just kind of give you a quick overview of the airport here. I'm going to get bright out here now. Hopefully the camera adjusts. All right, right now I'm looking south. So the hangar's behind me. It's to the north. And here's the taxiway that goes out to the main center section. And in that center section, the runway is actually over here. This is the east end of the runway. It goes all the way to uh, Route 98 runs all the way. It's not exactly east-west. I can't remember what the numbers are right offhand. I think the field elevation is around 1,200 feet or so. Uh, and then these are other hangars. But this is the main center parking ramp when anybody comes in here. When we have the uh, EAA chapter flying down here for the Meadville chapter, this is where they park all the aircraft along through here. And then the gas pumps are up around this hangar. So I'm kind of on the far end of the field just for now. This is just a temporary uh, location until the inspector comes out next Monday for the inspection. Today's Monday the 19th. So next Monday the 26th is my tentative date for the FAA inspector to come and give me my final check. And if everything goes well he'll issue me my airworthiness certificate. But after he does that I'll be keeping my airplane in that hangar right down there on the end. You can just see it opening, uh, opening coming up here. It's tough to see in this light. The sun is uh, about 11 o'clock in the sky, one o'clock basically. But that hangar down there, I can't hardly see my viewfinder. <laughs> there it is, that hangar right there. That's where I'm gonna be keeping this airplane. But this is all the ramp area. There's the fuel tanks over there, the fuel pumps. Then you taxi out and then you've got a taxiway that runs all the way to the west end of the airfield, all the way to the east end of the airfield. Let's see, now there's just taxiway signs. I'm looking for a uh, sign for the airport runway numbers, but oh, I don't remember them offhand. It's been a long time since I've flown in here. But this is kind of where I'm going to be staying for the foreseeable future. So, as long as nothing goes wrong, with the airplane this year. It'll pretty much stay here. Uh, if there's no troubles where I need to take it home for the winter to do any kind of major repairs, uh, I'll just take it apart, and take it home, put it in the garage, and work on it at home where I have all my tools and such, because there's nothing up here without dragging your whole tool collection up here to work. So, I don't know how much this winds. It's blowing right in my face. It'll affect this camera sound, but that's where I'm at, folks. <sighs> Kind of winded and up and down, up and down, up and down underneath that airplane for the last four hours. That took way longer than I expected, but then there was some re rigging I had to do, and it took a while to get the flaps hooked up and uh, get the compression bushings in the wing spars. But everything underneath is torqued down, buttoned up, safetyed, everything that needs to be safetyed. So all that's left is them little covers, them damn covers, you know, they've been like that all. All the time I'm building this thing this year, last year. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off here, cut my losses for the day, call it quits, go home, and I'll come back tomorrow afternoon and finish it up, adjust those aileron stops, get those covers fitted and put in, uh, get the paper paperwork envelope mounted in the planes for I have a place to put all the paperwork after the inspection is finished. So. Again, folks, appreciate everyone taking their time watching these videos. Uh, my last video, surprisingly not the last one, but two weeks ago, the one of me taxiing around in the uh, yard has really taken off on views. I mean, last check, it was over 141,000 views in, in about two weeks' time. So that's pretty incredible, folks. Appreciate that. Okay, um, again, as always, 
feel free to leave me comments, questions, concerns as you come along. I'll answer them. And uh, this last that last video now is over 600 comments, so they're getting kind of hard to keep up with. So you get some good questions and you get some dumb dumb stuff in there. So, all right, folks, I'll uh, probably won't see me again until next week, and hopefully when you see me next week, I'll have the certificate for the airplane, and then we'll be ready to. Then this will have to be moved over to the other hangar because I, I can't keep it here. Uh, this uh, flight school is not allowed to rent space here, so I have to take it over and pay the monthly fee over at the big hangar. And basically, my airplane is going to be the only one in there. So, and it's bigger than this hangar. All right, folks. Uh, again, thanks for watching these videos and uh, all the likes and comments. Keep them coming, and we'll see if we can get this thing out on the ramp here in a while. All right, folks. I'll uh, catch you guys again next weekend. So this is Dino Don out.